Welcome back to tonight's MLB pregame show as we ramp up to the first pitch this evening. Should be a good one. And as we prepare you for it, we present our tops player spotlight. Jay Mack has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year, and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well, the secret's out on this guy, Duro. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep in the games. He can eat up innings, and more importantly, his stuff is elite. I agree, Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he builds on last year's Cy Young award-winning season and gets off to another hot start. All right. Pre-game festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. Outdoor baseball now from the Warehouse District and Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, a matchup out of the AL Central between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. And now, your Minnesota Twins. It's Twins Baseball Twins. on the show, and it's coming up next. Out of the plate here is Batty Jay Bird. Mack as he'll the dig right into the left-handed batter's hey. box. Mack. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But a foul ball here, 0-1. The pitch. And a fastball way off target here and it's even at one. Fellas, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They come in off to a bit of a slow start with just one win in their first three tries. Yeah, Maddie, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. This will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Hey, that ball was hit hard. Good job. Brett Phillips will bat next. Batting four. He takes his first the cuts in this fielder. one with a man at first Brett. and two away. Phillips. Mack leads off first with a pair of outs Let's in the go. inning. Good, good, Runner good. goes for second. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straightaway left. Pineda is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One left for Minnesota. Still no score. One for four with the two bagger in yesterday's game. Julio Pablo. No score here as we play inning number two. Lined into right, a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right now there. Batting. Didn't do too much well, damage with it, but was Lucky. able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Data. Heading out towards shallow right. Mack is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So the error winds up not costing him as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Next, it'll be Gabriel Arias, who comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mack back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And now here is Mack. He singled in his first AB. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game Matt. so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Pineda is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. 
So next to bat will be oh, Nate Lowe. Cleveland. He's working on a but one for two game so far. Nate Lowe. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. India backs up and takes care of it. Two away. And now, now that Matt right flew field. out last time up. Yeah. Almost, Matty. Almost Matt. went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Center fielder giving chase, and that'll get down for a base hit. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts to pitch it. Runner at second, one away. The second fielder, number 35. Brett. Fellow. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Runners on his way to third. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. Only play will be the first, so they get the out, but credit the RBI as the go ahead run is in. Next to hit is Gavin Lux. He bounced out last time up. Gavin Lux. This is in the air out to right. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front. All set to start the ninth in this one. And please. next to bat will be the first, the first baseman, baseman, Bobby Bradley. Crowd gets Bobby up for the 3 2. Bradley. Skied into straightaway right. Trying here to play the tying run from second. Moringo. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Will he the room as he makes the catch? And there's a big out number two. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Minnesota Twins jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Rumsey Contreras earns his first win of the season. Ethan Hankins is settled with a loss after the giving up.